Tim McIntyre from The Daily Telegraph has all the New South Wales property news. The Tonga Beach Hotel and the Pearl Beach Oceanfront property home to Pearls on the Beach Restaurant are expected to attract national and overseas interest from cashed-up buyers looking to crack coastal NSW's lucrative commercial market. While no price guide has been advertised, expressions of interest are being called on both properties. The 1,540 square and Patonga Drive property is listed with Ray White Asia Pacific Director Andrew Jolliffe. The agent behind the $60 million plus Crown Plaza terrible sale last year. The purchase will give one lucky buyer ownership of two separate titles which includes the pub, cafe, fish and ship shop, plus a residence and studio apartment. Current owner Andrew Smith is believed to have paid about $7.35 million for the property in 2014. According to CoreLogic RP data figures, hotels like the Patonga Beach Hotel enjoy significant appeal given a history of consistent cash flow generation, unopposed waterfront location and underlying property value. Quote, Mr. Jolliffe said, in a marketplace where cash at bank looks increasingly like an impotent investment strategy, and investors are desperately hunting yield, buying oceanfront property complemented by a business operation enjoying both longevity and upside, is an uncontroversially compelling mix. Meanwhile, the owners of One Tourmaline Avenue, Pearl Beach, can expect a tidy profit from the sale of the popular fine dining spot. The prime beachfront property last sold 23 years ago for $590,000. The 670-square-m waterfront has an award-winning 70-seat restaurant with a five-year lease still in place and two separate two-bedroom apartments with ocean views, with a potential rent return totaling close to $200 or a year. Listing agent Stuart Shaw, of Pearl Beach Real Estate, said the prime piece of real estate was an exceptional buy. Sales rev up in a rare and McGrath Central Coast agents Stephanie Mason and Chris Smith have sold a string of million dollar plus listings in the Lake Macquarie suburb of Araring over recent months. The highest sale price went to 1 East Street which sold under the hammer at auction to out of area. Holiday House buyers for $1.56 million. A young professional family from Glenning Valley snapped up 4 Short Street prior to auction for $1.39 million, while local retirees splashed out $1.00. 29 million for 9 Rocky Point Road and plan to renovate. Just down the road at 11 Rocky Point Road, Sydney Siders bought a lakeside block of land at auction for $1.25 million and are looking forward to building a new home. Auction action by the weight. The auction of a waterfront reserve home in Woi Woi attracted a large crowd and a sale price well over reserve last weekend. McGrath at Long Beach agent Matthew Dawson sold 146 Brick Wharf Road under the hammer for $1.13 million following heated competition from four registered bidders. Bidding kicked off at $900.00 oh oh for the prime waterside home with three Sydney buyers missing out to a retired couple who recently moved from the city and rented locally for the right property to come up. Mr. Dawson said the location and position helped fetch such a stellar price for the 379-square-m property, which had been owned by the same family for four generations. Cracker price for East Bateau Bar. A young family from Long Jetty finally got to secure a spot in their dream coastal position of East Bateau Bay at auction last weekend. L.J. Hooker Bateau Bay Principal Paul Whitney sold 12 Nora View Street under the hammer for $1.005 million. The 677-square-m property wasn't far off beating the street record price of $1.125 million which is still held by a larger and newer home at 23 Nora View Street. According to CoreLogic RP data, 
The four-bedroom home attracted strong interest with over 60 inspections before auction day. Hinterland Citrus Offren, an established and fully operational orchard in the heart of Kulnura has hit the market for $2.2 2 million, boasting about 2,000 mature lemon trees and two large homes. The 1004 George Downs Drive property is set over 8. 16 hectares of prime rural land. Coast wide First National Wyong agent Michael Eslick is the listing agent. Acres of rural attractio. The off the market sale of a property in Holgate shows just how in demand the lifestyle acreage market has become around the Matcham, Holgate area. Gitto's agent Stephen Gitto's and Ingrid Osborne sold 28 Clyde Road for $1. 28 million just a day after showing the property to six database buyers keen to secure a spot in the tightly held semi-rural enclave. According to Ms Osborne, a large number of trees were removed since the property last sold a year ago for $1 or 7 million. The previous sale took about five years to secure. Gem of a clifftop SPO. McGrath Terrible duo Matt Steinwader and Trevor Hamilton have just listed a stunning penthouse apartment boasting one of the best positions in Avoca Beach. Set over a massive 656 square m, the luxury four-bedroom residence at 615 Cliff Avenue offers a plunge pool and roof deck spa. Overlooking the ocean, room for development, Ray White Commercial have just listed two landmark residential development sites in Gosford. Expressions of interest are being sought for 94-98 John Whiteway Drive and a corner block at Erinor and Albany Streets by September 13. The John Whiteway Drive property has a DAF for 39 units and offers views over Brisbane water. Meanwhile, the 4016 square m site on Erina Street is zoned B4 mixed use and has indicative plans for 198 units plus ground floor commercial space which have not been lodged with council. Locals line up for Top Gong. Three Central Coast real estate agencies have been named as finalists in this year's real estate. Institute of New South Wales Awards for Excellence. McGrath Terrigal and Rain and Horn Terrigal of Oka Beach are shortlisted for the Residential Sales Team Award, while McGrath Longevity agent Brian Whiteman has been individually nominated for the Rising Star category. The team from Rain and Horn Terrigal of Oka Beach are also up for Innovation Gong at the upcoming October Awards Night in Sydney. McLaughlin Partners Long Jetty Marketing and Operations Manager Rachel Lilly also achieved an individual nomination for the Corporate Support category. REINSW President John Cunningham said the awards were a great opportunity to celebrate the industry's top performers. Being nominated as a finalist in the REINSW Awards for Excellence is the most significant accolade a real estate agent operating in our state can receive, he said. Originally published his landmark waterfronts up for sale, 